Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to be completing the Curse of the Empty Lord mini quest, also known as the Curse of Zeros. Quest requirements are Desert Treasure until you have the Ring of Visibility and Restless Ghost until you have a Ghost Speak Amulet. Skill requirements are none, but there is a 1 in 3 chance that you will need to have 31 prior. I just need it a Ghost Speak Amulet and a Ring of Visibility. I currently do not own a Ghost Speak Amulet, so I will be using these legs as a substitute. Next for the suggested items are teleports to various places and some of them will be in the wilderness. Now the places that you will need to go to is random for everyone and I will list the best teleports for all the three sequences uh, in the description. Next, also some teleportation methods that you can use up to level 30 Wilderness. Those are uh, Dragonstone Jewelry, the Royal Seed Pot and a Slayer Ring. Now currently in my inventory you don't need all these items. I just brought all the different teleportation methods to all the three different uh, sequences that you could have. But there is only one sequence that you have to follow. So uh, check the description after you've checked with path or sequence you have. Next what is also suggested is some weight reducing armor and a couple of stamina potions would be nice. Then also if you have a combat level of 108 or lower there is a 1 in 3 chance this is if you have path 3 that you will need to have a friend uh, to fight off the aggressive earth warriors in the Edgefield dungeon because uh, they are aggressive and then you can't listen to the uh, ghost's story. Also, there are a couple of low-level monsters in the wilderness that are aggressive no matter what your combat level is, so having a weapon to kill them so you can talk to the ghost would also be helpful. Now, of course, because a lot of the activity that we're going to do is in the wilderness, do not bring anything you wish to lose. So if I'm going to the wilderness, I'm going to deposit my full graceful, of course. So that's about it. Let's start this mini quest by going to here at Galerial's tomb of the Waterfall quest, just next to the fishing guild, south of Barbarian Assault. Let's equip our Ring of Visibility and Ghost Speak Amulet. And now you see absolutely nothing on your minimap, but we will need to speak to a ghost. This ghost does not have a uh, yellow dot. Once you've found him, talk to him. Just keep pressing the spacebar, then select the first option, tell me your story. And keep pressing the spacebar once again, until he gives you a ghostly rope top. This is what we have to do for five more ghosts. After the conversation is over, let's talk to him again, but do not click to continue. Because now we will need to find the location of th uh, Thief Renar. So, let's talk to him quickly, not too fast. And for my path, he is a thief and he's located southeast from here. Now, if he says he is a pirate, that means that uh, he's located at the shipwreck all the way north in the wilderness. If he says he's a thief northeast, that means that you have path 2. If he says that he is a vile thief located southeast, just like me, he is at path number three. I'll put a picture on the screen right now so you can see where the ghost location is for every single path. I am going to follow path three because he said thief southeast. And I'll see you back once I have gathered all the ghostly pieces.
my god, this conversation lasts forever. Come on, just give me the freaking cloak and then we're done with this. Come on. Yes, got it. Fucking yes. Bye. Yes, get out of here. This account too. God damn it. Come on, this account too. Go, 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 go. And with the ghostly cloak, you have completed the Curse of the Empty Lord mini quest. Yes, it's now in green and the full ghostly rope set, which you can store in your POH, is technically your only reward. But what you can also do, which is also needed for the Varak Heart Diary, let's simply go to Varak. Shit, teleported to the Grand Exchange. But if we now go to Minas, who is located on the second floor of the Varak Museum, after we've listened to so many stories, we now can tell that to Minas, the historian, and he will give us an experience lamp of 10,000 uh, XP, which we can use on any skill of our liking, if it is at least level 50 or higher. Alright, after I've gotten this lamp, I will end the video, so hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.